When time is coupled with the capacity to work with a partner in mathematics, students have more chances of processing information and feel a greater sense of inclusion in their classroom. Pro we can't process new stuff so quickly, so we need more time to learn each step. It's not like they do all the work, you have to also help them. Like, if you have another strategy and they have another strategy, you can combine that and see if you get the same answer, then it's the right answer. Like, two brains is better than one, it's not just all about you. Like, if, it's, I, if I don't understand the question very well, uh, I can, uh, I can, I can uh, think about it for a week. A lot of the kids in our class work best like when we're all together because we have each other to uh, like support each other and we can like help each other. And if we're like confused, we can like ask uh, another student that like sits beside us or something like, so that we understand more. They could tell you how they subtracted and then you could subtract the way that they subtracted. We talk and we do work at the same time. That, that also helps to calm me. Well, I just think over time. And it, like I just have more time to think. It helps me a bit more. When it comes to problem solving, having a partner to talk to provides another avenue for students to learn and understand through. It's another gateway for students to feel included and equally valued in a class of many. Through partner and group work, we allow students to struggle with ideas and build on each other's insights or allow a natural form of tutoring to occur as some students explain their insights to others. This allows further time for other students to muddle through with multiple perspectives and process an understanding based on the justifications from other students. So I think that sometimes as teachers we make assumptions that all students have the same or need the same amount of time to process information and what I've noticed is that that's not the case. So honoring the think time that students need is really important because sometimes I notice students may shrug or say that they don't know something when really I think they do, they just needed more time to think about it. So when you partner the, the time that students need with a partnership, you're honoring that processing time that, that they need. So sometimes I'll ask the students to turn and talk to a math partner as a way to start a dialogue and sometimes it's just to buy the time for a student who needs a little bit more time to process. They can choose to be the listener or they can choose to be the speaker. Other times when students are partnered more formally to work on a task or a problem, then it gives them that opportunity to verbally start dialoguing about the concept that they might be learning about or that they're struggling with. Uh, I think we all appreciate the opportunity to orally communicate throughout the problem solving process and so having a listener who can either add on or confirm some of their thinking or to respectfully challenge the thinking is really super helpful for kids who just need that additional time. These student accounts have told us one very clear message, give us time. When students receive time and have chance to work with math partners, we as teachers give them a chance to feel valued and included in our classrooms. We give them a chance to become successful. <laughs>